Today we're going to be talking about the gayest houseplants. <laughs> this was a, I think, joking suggestion from a follower on Instagram by the name of Greg. Greg, you know who you are. Uh, he actually recommended that we do a video on the gayest houseplants and we're going to take it and run with it. So some of these plants may be a little flamboyant, a little showy, or some of these plants might just radiate gay energy. So without further ado, without further ado, let's jump into my list of the gayest houseplants. First up, we have the peacock plant or the Calathea rosapicta. I mean, I don't think I have to say anything about this plant. Um, gay energy, for sure. The next plant is the variegated string of hearts. Now I'll do a closer clip here, but I mean, if you look at this plant, you really can't tell me that it is not fe uh, feminine and dainty and um, flamboyant. This plant has gay energy. So we're not just talking about gay men here. We can also venture on the side of gay women. So for my ladies out there, the next plant I don't have in front of me, but it's called the booby cactus. This is what the booby cactus looks like and it gets its name for a very good reason. Hopefully I'm not demonetized from this uh, picture, but <laughs> you know, gay energy, lesbian energy. I don't think, you know, I have to say much. It speaks for itself. This next plant is called the um, hoo-ha cactus. <laughs> it's not called that. It's called the um, male genitalia cactus. And for a good reason, again, I think that this uh, is pretty self-explanatory. And this plant definitely radiates um, masculine energy that could definitely be misconstrued as gay energy, maybe after a few drinks or, uh, you know, let's take it a little loosened up. <laughs> what am I filming? The next plant is exclusively on this list because of its flower and that's the bird of paradise. If you've seen a bird of paradise flower, it's flamboyant, it's showy, it's over the top, it's everything that you think whenever you think of gay man full of pride, no shade. Crotons are very colorful plants, especially like the garden croton. You know, it has hues of yellow and violet and red in it and definitely very gay very feminine, very flamboyant as well. Flamboyant is the word of the day, apparently, but this plant radiates gay energy. The next two plants, the last two plants, are on the dainty side and definitely radiate gay energy. If I come into your home and I see that you have either of these two plants and you're a male, not that gender norms mean anything, but us. <laughs> the first one is the tricolor Tradenscentia or Wandering Dude. And uh, this plant, flamboyant, showy, hues of pink, white, light green, beautiful plant, really beautiful plant, really hard to take care of, like most gay men. <laughs> but it's a beautiful plant nonetheless. The last plant on my list is on my wish list, just like Acceptance by the Masses. And it's the Pink Princess Philodendron. This plant, gay energy. I mean, if you've ever seen someone propagate the pink, uh, the, pink, the Pink Princess Philodendron, if you cut into it, it bleeds like a bright pink red color. Beautiful, stunning, gorgeous, show-stopping, never the same, all of the above. So really beautiful plant that screams gay energy. I know that this was a weird as hell video, but I hope that you enjoyed it nonetheless and it gave you a good laugh during these times that um, could lead to the downfall of humanity and the downfall of human rights. Please vote. Bye.